So we looking like pardon, son. 45 inch bench, then it's worth the time. We long, so they thinking I'm Brazilian. Hey, thanks for tuning in to the Miss Blue Radio Show. I might need to, you think I need to put my mic over here? Because it looks weird. I'm like this, and I got the. No, actually, it, it pretty, pretty good. Okay, so I maybe I, I need to move this then um, so that my, they can see me. My Hold on, y'all. Okay, so look, it's a little bit of a glare, but damn. It's a. Oh, because it's facing the TV now. Oh, that's right, yeah. Okay. So who cares, right? I'm doing. <laughs> I am doing a follow up, y'all, because y'all be knowing I be keeping my ear to the goddamn streets. And last week the studio was on fire. Okay. Well, actually, that was week before Wait. last. Because you know, like me, I record a week. Oh, before. okay. Yeah. So week before last. Because last week I had Matt on. On my. You're show. right. You're so right. You're right. The week before the last. Week, yeah. The 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 studio was the station was on fire, and the reason why is because. My co-host, Unrestricted Podcast. Hi, Dicey. Unrestricted Podcast. Hey, Full Figure Beauty. All y'all, thanks for tuning in. My um, co-host talks about his family. But it wasn't like in a bad, necessarily like in a bad way. So for years, his family have not been supporting. His family have not been supporting him in anything that he does. And he does a lot. And it had been bothering him. So he did a podcast about it. What the hell? Like, t- I'm talking about it because after the fact, all the drama and shit that unfolded. Do you mind telling me right here? Why am I laughing at this? This is awful. But <laughs> can I mean, you it's, tell? It's, it's, it's one of those oh. things. I mean, in all seriousness, there's nothing to laugh at. You know, a lot of people in the family are, are hurt, feeling some kind of way, confused. You know, it's, it's just a... It's a clusterfuck, basically, but you, I don't even know where to start. So basically, you know, one person heard it, they pass it on to other people, mm-hmm. and then, you know, it's it's spread it around in the, in the family, and, uh, you know, I'll I put it like this, I, I'm not going to be going to any family functions anytime oh, soon. Oh, no. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't piss some people off. Oh, yeah, big time. But, I mean, it, it had to be done. And the thing of it is, is, like, unfortunately, you know, I'm not going to say any names or anything like I did in, in the episode. Yeah, two weeks ago. I'm not, I'm not going to say specific names. But for the people who have reached out to me in the family, because, like, what happened was the episode dropped. It was Tuesday. A lot of people, you know, were commenting for those who listened to it. Mm-hmm. And they still didn't get it and a couple of people I have an aunt and a cousin who called me I wasn't able to answer my phone because I worked so much and I knew what it was about so you know they left voice messages and they still didn't get it you know what I mean and it's like this has nothing to do and in case that there's confusion out there which I don't see how there was confusion when I spent an hour talking I gave examples right. I gave you know all kinds of examples this has nothing to do everything I was talking about on my rant on unrestricted mm-hmm. was regarding social media. I mean, you got that right. You were sitting I mean, right across yeah, me. It yeah. had nothing to do with, you know, like one of my cousins who left me a message, she was like, you know, she says, that's super fucked up what you said on your show. And, you know, everybody was there for you when your parents died. That has, you, you're missing the point. Now, granted, yeah, I will say this. If I call family and it's like, hey, look, I'm going through something I need an ear to talk to or I'm coming I need a you know I'm coming down to visit to watch an LSU game or a family function I need a place to crash oh yeah doors open beds made but I was talking specifically about social media like (laughs) you know and it's like and still at the same time any everyone who's contacted me no one they must have missed a whole chunk of the the show where I talked about the dude I know in Canada with no of in Canada because we right. officially met my buddy DB who go by the name DB Cooper who all the way in a remote part of Canada listens to the show faithfully listens to my show like you know you know he, he you know when I go to comic cons and take pictures or different events and take pictures you know he interacts and everything shares it likes it give me feedback good or bad or whatever still no one addressed that 
no one <laughs> no one said anything about that you know it's just like well and in someone today talking about this when I was on my way over here said it very good they heard the episode but they didn't listen to it true that, words were never spoken and dicey said you spoke your truth if they don't get it they never will and you know what and it, then one of my mm-hmm. cousins he, he he was very nice and eloquent on facebook before i had to take the, the post down because things just start getting way out of hand and you know he was basically saying you know why i didn't ask him to be on the show and it's like, okay, did you listen to it? Because in the intro of my show, which, you know, Blue, you're the voice mm-hmm. of my intro. You right. did my intro. Thank you for that. Sure. I, I love it. In the intro of my show, you say Ish goes around and interviews people in Houston. And then in the show. You say that. In, and, and I wrote that for you to say in the show. I wrote that, emailed the script to you. Mm-hmm. You read it. And I posted, I put music behind it, and I put it in every episode. You know what I mean? (laughs) So it's like, um, again, so it's like my cousin who doesn't, I don't want to give too much information about him, but, you know, he, he, let's just say, you know, he lives in another part of the country, okay? That's not Louisiana or Texas. Mm -hmm. So I would love to have him on the show. He's very educated, highly decorated. He's, you know, super published, you know, got papers and shit out there and everything, you know, and, you know, him and I, we've had, again, when my dad died, you know, we did a road trip, you know, from Houston to Louisiana. And, you know, we had a lot of one on one time talking about stuff. Highly intellectual guy. But and even in, in, in the rant episode, I talked about how you and I are paying for this studio space. So if I'm paying for a studio space to do a podcast, that means I want people to come in here. I don't want to do. Right. Virtual interviews. That's not you and I argue about. We don't argue, but we discuss mm-hmm. it all the time because you think I should do virtual interviews mm-hmm. for my podcast to expand to a bigger audience, especially given people I know across right. the country or whatever. And I'm like, no, I'll just wait. And I know with this whole coronavirus thing and and you know travel the way it is, but people I know from outside the state, like for example, my buddy, uh, I will say this name, my buddy Sam, who runs the Scott and Holman, one half of the Scott and Holman podcast. You know, if I call Sam up right now and say, hey man, you want to be on my show? You know, he'll say, yeah, and Mm -hmm. we can set up something virtual, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to wait until Sam physically comes to Houston and bring his ass in here and we could talk U of H sports, college sports, you know, et cetera, Mm -hmm. et cetera. That's what I'm paying this place here. Because if that's the case, then I could save the amount of money that I'm paying, you know, going in with this, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, us going half on this and sit up in the comfort of my own house, you know, my loft in downtown Houston and do everything virtually from there. No, I don't want to do that. I like Mm -hmm. that feeling of having in-studio people, you know, but they didn't get that, you know, (laughs) like, well, you know, I was going to say that I feel like um, from dealing with people in general that we all hear what we want to hear. Mm-hmm. And I feel like a lot of us, um, including myself at times, have been caught responding just to, like defending myself before I can really give someone a fair chance to explain what they were talking about. And so I think it's something that we all could work on. But I laugh because it's not <laughs> it's not funny that that's happening, but it's funny because I went down the same road and I can now laugh. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? Remember how frustrated I used to be from lack of support oh, yeah. from my own family. Um, and uh, Full Figure Cutie says she loves you-ish. Thank you. Um, and so after a while, I stopped caring. Yeah. Because it's like... I got so used to them not supporting me or half at No, mine didn't even support. Wasn't even half at support. Just, I see what she's doing, but I don't care mm-hmm. type shit. Um, damn near hating on you more than the motherfucker outside of this place hating on you. But it is what it is. And when you can get past that, then you don't care. And it is funny to you. And so I just hope at the end of the day, one of these days when we revisit this situation, I hope you're laughing about it. Because I feel sorry for people, especially family, that misses out from not supporting us because it's a really it's so cool to see the start of something in the end because don't think your ass gonna be sitting with me when i'm getting vip places and i'm traveling you're not i'm not gonna think about you 
I'm not gonna think about you at all. I owe you nothing because you never supported me. You know, like so. I um like I was talking to my my friend Atlanta. Shout out. Um, well, I don't know if she wants to shout out given this situation. But, yeah, let's not uh, let's yeah, refrain yeah, like, from yeah, giving yeah, names yeah, and something yeah. wrong. Yeah, my yes. family's crazy, but them Louisiana <laughs> people they gonna come for your ass, <laughs> right? But be that as like, I was talking to a dear friend of mine when I was getting ready for the show, and, uh-huh. and I told her I was like. Because, you know, she made a suggestion, hey, the people that reached out and physically called you, maybe you should return their call and explain your side. And I thought about it last night, and I, I was telling her today, I was like, look, I spent an hour on my show mm-hmm. explaining my side. You know, I, I told, you know, like you set up a story. You know, I said, this is how I feel. This is why I gave examples. I had evidence on my phone. Right. I showed I showed you the evidence. Yes, you did. You looked at it and you was like, "Oh shit, this dude's not lying or anything." Nope. You know, he you know, and hey, Kiki. the rest is is history. So it's like I already did. And, and for those who say that they listened to the episode, if they did listen to it from start to finish, then all I'm going to do is call them and waste time, valuable time I have because I'm so busy. Absolutely, repeating myself again. It's like you know what. No, because if they did listen, if they did, like my friend said, if they did hear it, they didn't listen. So I'm mm-hmm. done, you know. And it's like I said at the end of my episode when you asked me how I feel, you know, here it is now. It's been, you know, two weeks since we recorded the episode. Right. And I still feel good. I feel liberated, you know. And with them, you know, and I know this goes, this goes to sound kind of fucked up, but the fact that they listened, I'm actually surprised because remember, I even said on the show, they're not going to listen. They're not. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to post it. I may send it out, a link out to one family member, you know, and then, you know, and, and be done. They, they're not going to care, but, you know, they do care or whatever. Um, and it's like, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm good. I, you know, I'm at the point now, it's like, I got all that off my shoulder. I feel like a million bucks, you know, <laughs> and I'm done, you know, if, if they have any questions, you know, again, it's the same, you know, I'm just going to say the mm-hmm. same thing I said in the episode, and they can just refer back to that episode. You and know? you know what, and how I feel about that is, like, when it comes to you explaining, I don't like to explain myself a thousand times either, and same I feel here. like the visual that you gave was self-explanatory, and it's like either you want to get it or you don't want to get it, and it's like I feel like at this point, if they read the, um, not read, but if they listen to it and they still don't get it, they just don't want to get it, and it's not going to be anything that you can say to people that don't want to understand your point, and I think because, once again, we have both like hit walls, like mm-hmm. trying to get people yeah. to understand where we come from. Over the years, we've I've seen us both frustrated. I've seen us both just like, just, you know, Mm -hmm. completely angry. And it's not good for your health. It's stressful. Especially when it's family, though. It's like, y'all, look, this is how I feel. She get it. Somebody got it. You want to know why? Why? Because they were so quick to to share the messiness of it. They were so quick to put it in other podcast group. So you can share this negative interview that you think I did about the family, but you won't share anything positive that I said in all of your you all of sh- your you interviews have share, been positive. Yeah, you won't share the female athletes that I've had. So you know why? I mean? You won't you won't share the female attorney that I had in the very first episode that's about the time. Exactly. Uh, stuff. Won't share the female, the black female actress I've had who I'm sitting across from right now and, and you. You know what I mean? They don't then, care. You know, and then when um, Matt's episode drops, which will be on Monday, you know. Okay. Um, they're not going to share that, that I, you know, interviewed a guy who's a, a very successful photographer, you know, um, then photograph all kinds of celebrities that came to Houston. He told a couple of stories. You know, and now he's into podcasting and he's, you know, uh, demographically speaking, you know, he's a Hispanic male, you know, and, you know, they're not going to share that. It's like, oh, damn, you know, Ishmael's promoting women. He's, you know, he's promoting all kind of demographics and the minorities. Entrepreneurs. And stuff. Yeah, you know, and tonight on my show and from nine to ten, you know, I have a, a black entrepreneur uh, Chelsea Irving, you know, coming in and see, to talk about, and she's a former educator. Education, yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you're going to have some really good questions to yeah. ask her. Yeah, she's a former high school uh, teacher, and I grew up with her. We both went to John Jay Pershing Middle School. Pershing in the house, you know, so uh, got shot at Pershing class of uh, 9-8. And, you know, of course, I'm going to ask her her thoughts on, you know, the whole COVID situation and right. all that. You know, we'll get into that. Absolutely. But, you know, no. But they won't share that. Yeah. They won't but, talk about but see, yeah. this is, again, this is like a reality a reality TV world that we're living in. It's, and, you know, the crazy part about it is 
nobody wants to share and talk about positive things. Whenever you, even with Twitter retweets and all that, if you tweet something negative, always going to have a lot of like, you know, uh, retweets and because people want to know the business and the scoop and what's going on. Mm -hmm. But if you just posting something uplifting, a lot of people don't give a damn because they are fueled off of drama because that's what we see on TV. We see ignorant shit on TV all damn day. I don't even really watch uh, TV like that unless it's like crime shows or. The only thing I watch is sports and. Uh, uh, Greenleaf. And um, uh, my superhero shows. That's pretty much it. <laughs> That's all. Uh, Little Women of LA, when they mm-hmm. return, I've watched yeah. the full seasons. It's it's a few things I do watch, but I'm just saying, like, a lot of people are just, <clears throat> excuse me, are just negative. So, with that being said, I feel like your family is going to. They just want to focus on the negative stuff. And, like, you cannot keep getting upset about that like it's not oh, nah, it's I'm, not I'm, I'm, I'm i would cool say block them um, I, I did i did have to block some of them <coughs> okay good. The comments, they were getting like and this is my <clears> thing <throat> too i don't mind having a discussion or you know a debate or even an argument with anybody okay you know my only thing is is when you start you know you you're having <clears throat> a discussion with someone and you start attacking the person Directly, Person, that's what it got to. You know, like, like one of my cousins was like, you know, you fat clown, da, da, da. and it's like I do fat jokes on myself. Come with something harder, you know what I mean? <laughs> How many times, it, you know, even my coworkers in my day job, you know, I'll say something like, if it like I walk into work <clears> and if it's crazy busy, I'm like, you know what? I should have I should have stayed my fat ass at home and everybody just you know bust out laughing and shit. Or, <laughs> you you, cra- know, you don't care. Like, though. Yeah, you know I don't like I, I make fat jokes on myself, so it's like. My cousin that was calling me a fat clown and showing all these clown emojis, it's like, and she's supposed to be one of the comedians in the family. It's like, come on, you can't come up with nothing. Wait, she's than a that. comedian? Well, no, she's not a she's not a professional. No, comedian, that's what I'm saying. But she, she wants to pursue com- no, no, comedy. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. That, no. that cousin, she's just one of those people. That's like me. I'm just naturally a funny guy. That's my oh, personality. Okay, I got you. I've heard people, you know, tell me before, like, hey, you should be a comedian. You should be an actor. That's not what I want to do. But if I see a situation. You know, I'm quick enough and witty enough to make a joke about it. Like, think about all the jokes I've made about your ass. And like, shit. when you know I, I mean? yeah, you know? and when I cast you in my movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that, that, that yeah. movie that we talked about? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, you know, I, I do that as a favor for you or whatever, but like, my cousin that was, you know, doing like the, the fat clown jokes or whatever, it's like, okay, you're supposed to be one of the funniest people in the family. You naturally have like that demeanor, and that's the best you can come up with. Damn. Like, I do fat jokes on myself without even thinking about it. Like, you don't think I look in the fucking mirror every day and <laughs> see I'm, I'm fat? Like, I'm proud to be fat. You know, like, fuck, I, I, you've seen the women I date and, and go out mm-hmm. with and shit. Like, I still pull numbers and shit. Like, what the right. fuck? Like, you can't come with something better than that? Like, come on, <laughs> you know? Like, so, like, when it started got, getting to that point, you know, I was like, okay, let me just let me just close this down and, and delete it. Right. And I had to block her and some other people and whatnot. You know, and it's just like I mean that and that's good, understandable. Good grief, you know? <laughs> that's under- which I still feel like you guys. Uh Chris, we're doing pretty good. We're just doing a follow up on his pod I mean his yeah, his podcast topic from a week and a half ago. So we um I told you my approach would have been just to get all their ass together, uh, and sit them down and say something. Like, I'm more of a um, face-to-face type yeah. of person. I don't like calling, and I don't like doing no yeah. texting. Like, if we got some issues, I'm going to have to flex and get that off my well, chest one, and one talk thing, to you woman to woman. It's funny you mentioned it because one thing that I heard Tuesday, mm-hmm. the bulk of my family, and you're probably going to gonna like this, about okay. 60% of my family have iPhones. They're devoted Apple users. Which is now probably why we don't get along there. But that's oh my to, goodness, we're not but, about to start on the, but, the um, phone slander. Them. So I was told mm-hmm. that like a whole bunch of them got on a uh, FaceTime, you know, thing or whatever. Like fourteen family members got on a FaceTime group chat what? talking about me, and they were all trying to figure out like, hold up. Ishmael, you know, does he have an iPhone? We need to get him on, you know. Da, da, but ah. going back to that, they don't even know me because if you know me, I hate Apple products. I know you do. And, and that's the thing that, that the person who told me this was like, and she was like, dang, Ishmael, I see your point with everything because you talk all the time on, on social media of how much you don't like Apple products. So she was like, dang, they really don't know you or pay attention to you. <laughs> you know, I always talk all the time like, 
Remember when I first started my job and they gave me like a company iPhone and I was always like, I'm going to lose this phone. I'm going to pretend. I remember, that, you know, I remember like, that you know, vividly. Even just now, we was going through prep. You know, I was making fun of, you know, your Mac thingy you got in front of you that you run mm-hmm. this thing on. I was like, you know, and I poke jabs at Apple every time I get. Again, shout out to my boy Sam Scott and Home and Podcast. He's a devoted iPhone user. Him and I, you know, we do jokes and shit. Uh, and, you know, it's like. I can't believe that they got, I mean, it's cool that they got on, you know, a FaceTime or whatever, and they're trying to coordinate and, you know, talk about this or whatever and figure out what's going on. And for the ones who didn't listen to it, you know, of course, they want to know what was said and all that. But then for someone or some people like, oh, you know, does Ishmael have an iPhone? We need to get him on his FaceTime. Right. Like, no. You know, like, like, you should know that about me by now. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah but it's also, I feel like, Y'all can talk about it. Like, it can be, even though some words were said in exchange, I feel like you eventually you should verbally, like, if y'all come face to face and y'all can have a civilized conversation, it would be good to just talk to them about it and just move on or just block them and just don't don't worry about it. You, I mean, at, we think that we need family support. We really do. But yeah. we really don't. Like, y'all, like, you can really do it without... Your family supporting you. And, and I tell you, like, I've had a lot of time this these past couple of days to reflect. Mm. And at the end of the day with me, it was two things. It was validation. And it was also, you know, in life, we want what we see others have, you know. And remember, I kind of touched on that. And I said it without saying it because remember I said that, you know, my cousins who are doing their thing, they share and interact with their posts. You know, like my cousin. Oh, the rest right. Of my you did one. say that. It's like, so it's like, hold on. I'm only wanting this because I see my other cousins got it, but I don't necessarily need it because I have a support group. I have, you know, friends that support me and help me. I have, you know, a little, I don't want to say fan base. I'm not up there yet, but, you know, I have friends that like the content I put out and, you know, and, that, and that's fine. That's all I mm-hmm. need. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, and, and another thing they didn't say either. No, and you remember several times throughout that rant, I gave props to my cousins, and I even mentioned them by name. Of the yes, ones who, you know, my um, cousin who the does, lawyer. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I shout out. I shout out my the lawyer. home decorator. Uh, uh, he does the home remodeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and the one who owns the restaurant. And I even said that if they called me up right now and wanted me to go out there and do a commercial, take pictures, whatever, I wouldn't hesitate to do it. But no one mentioned that. No one mentioned that shit. No one said, "Okay, we don't like how you trashed." The cousin that screwed you in the pictures or whatever, that was, you know, fucked up. But, you know, it was cool. You know, you 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 gave, you know, Terrence a shout out. You gave Broderick a shout out. You gave, you know, the lawyer a shout out. You know what I mean? Like, right. No, no one said any of that shit, you know? <laughs> so it's like what my friend said. They heard the episode, but they didn't listen. They heard it, but they <laughs> only heard it from their point of view. Yeah. And that's just, that's with so many people. Like, I... That's just with so many people. Like, you could explain some shit, and it's like, if somebody just not... If they have it in their head the way they want to perceive something, understand something, that is just how it's going to be. And you can you could talk until your face turns blue and purple, and they still going to say, well, I still think so. Who cares? That's why I told you from the start. Block they ass. Like, I'm the queen of block. I will block your ass. Do you understand me? I don't care who you are, but well, you I won't know, block I, my mama. Know, like, like I'm not gonna block. But she supports everything I do. I do have, so. You know, I do have some cousins who were just family period who aren't messy. Like for instance, the one I said that that, that does the home remodeling. Right. Shout right. out to my cousin Terrence. Like I, when I woke up this morning, I seen where he had like some stuff. You know. Okay. Now you know, that's he's always, nice. You know, he's always like granted. He's busy because you know he has his own business, and home remodeling. That you know that's that's a hell of a of a of a thing to do, a job or enterprise, or whatever you want to you know take. And some of his projects are really huge, and you got people that work under him, you know, and and all that stuff. So you know, I get it that he's not on social media every day. He doesn't live on social media, but when he does get on and he sees that I'm doing something, you know, he likes. So it's like I have I have no, no quarrel or nothing with Terrence. Right. You know, again, he's one of the ones if he called me right now. Wanted me to film a commercial or do something, I wouldn't hesitate to do it, you know? So, it's like, I'm not going to block him, you know? There's a couple other ones, too. Um, yeah, uh, uh, the one who owns the restaurant, my cousin Broderick. Same thing, you know? He, yeah. You know, I mean, again, he's super busy running the restaurant and, you know, doing that and everything. And, um, you know, it's like, 
and especially with Louisiana kind of like opening back up, you know, and like out here, you know, the occupancy thing and keeping track of all of that, you know. Yes, I understand he's super busy, and when he gets online, you know, he likes it. So like, I don't, you don't have no quarrel with him. In but the that's end, different. You know? I mean, yeah, I'm saying like yeah. black people, like the ones that you know for a fact, or you really feel like just being malicious and not. Mm-hmm. Purposely seeing what you post and not like, like it. I say block them. Like you know oh, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already took care of that. Yeah, yeah. Well, see that. Yeah, because I yeah, don't even I even on my Facebook page. I remember like I had a page with like five thousand. I remember that people, yeah. and, and it was, was maxed out. Yeah, I was I, mad. I can never add people because. <clears throat> Oh, thank you so much, Dicey. Dicey says I gotta run, guys. I feel your pain and love you. Keep doing what you're doing. Love you we too, love you Dicey. too, Dicey. Um. I could I had I had that um I'm sorry I had the um Facebook page and it had like five thousand followers or whatever mm-hmm. and then I just noticed that like a lot of people just wasn't supporting stuff purposely at this point because I watch everything too and then like I kept saying for years I was like man I'm gonna delete this page one of these days I'm a, I'm gonna delete this page and like one day it happened and little oh, did man. I know. That my artist page that has started popping would I would lose full complete access to. Yeah, I and know. now now if I can do it over again, I would probably still have that page just so I could run that artist page because I had to start well, all I over mean, with everything. You know, well, like, I mean, you didn't know at the time. But I did. I hate that Facebook do that. Like you can't unconnect. <clears throat> you cannot. Con- you have to connect your Facebook like page with the facebook main page and i hate that like let me have my shit by myself like because if i don't but, want this page i should be able to still operate off one page well going forward what you can do is you can create another like personal facebook account make that page the admin then deactivate the other account that you don't want am i making sense Okay, make the new page the admin to the um to like uh, to, to my the, Facebook like page. Exactly. I wish I would have knew that yeah, because yeah. now I got you know my Facebook page and I and it's crazy y'all. I be seeing myself get to like I could have been had like three thousand followers again. Mm-hmm. I deleted like over a thousand. I just don't even want to play games like that. I'm uh, you looking at me yeah. like you think I'm crazy. Like, I don't even don't want play games like that. I don't even want you on my shit just looking yeah. at my shit. Like get out get off my shit just watching. For what? Yeah. You think something's gonna change? I'm still shining, I'm still doing entertainment, nothing's gonna change. I'm gonna always be doing entertainment. If if it's not rapping, uh it'll be writing, ghost writing, it'll be doing hosting, you know, acting. Yeah. Di- directing my own movies or something it's just like they just watch like like something gonna change like they and i hate to feel like somebody is preying on your downfall that's like you know so what weird gets to me, me about social media now and you, you just reminded me of something that i forgot to mention in the episode you know now on facebook and instagram the stories oh if I, yeah if I, yeah if i post a story right i can go in and see who looked at it and i remember this one particular day um, the cousin who I talked about maliciously on on the rant, um, you know the one the one with the that I got into with the pictures or whatever, to do her family photos or whatever. Well, I had seen that she looked at um a Facebook story idea, and the Facebook story was something having to do with my photography as before podcasting and all that, and so I messaged her and took a screenshot and I was like, hey, stop lurking and start liking she responds back you better keep your ass humble oh and i'm just like this mother okay okay but again it's like you're looking Damn. at my stuff and that's and see people i don't know if people don't know that or people don't get it but facebook and instagram stories will tell on you it lets us know who are posting the stuff who's looking at it you know so it's like okay you're looking at my post but you're not liking you're not Hell, somebody down. just said wow too yeah. somebody say like why are you here people are waiting for a chance to say something and then they said wow when you said that your cousin was like you better be humble i'll see if i can find that yeah you uh, know that's um very crazy like i i see i don't really be tripping like when it comes to like instagram because i feel like it's like even a lot of uh like celebs that are watch your instagram stories but they won't never like your main page yeah and so i, I feel like that's kind of like on some sites that's the norm 
So I don't too much be tripping on that. But if it's somebody that I know personally and I see that they've stopped liking my posts, but they watch my stories, I do think that's weird. And I do see it. I see everything, y'all. But yeah. I don't care to address it because I don't care. Like, I'm so in my own element and in my zone, especially these days that, like, it, you know, for the people that support, I truly appreciate it. And I say, it, I say it all the time. I tell you guys, like, thank you for supporting. But for the ones that don't, it doesn't have an effect on me. Like, I, those days, like, are literally over where it's just, like, I used to go crazy behind that shit. And I, I figure, like, the worst pain and the worst situations in your life come from, sometimes, come from your family. Oh, yeah, big time. And yeah. if you can withstand what your family sending you through, nobody can really break you, man. Like, I feel like... I've just been prepared for, like, the worst type of shit, I think. Yeah, it is. Because God said, I'm going to make sure she had thick skin because I know I deal with that with my people. Like, Oh, yeah, it definitely builds character. Yeah, you know, it, it definitely like, builds it because it's like you, you, these are people you grew up with and you, you're supposed to love through thick and thin that's done, done you dirty, done you wrong, don't support. So somebody else shouldn't bother you like that. Like, Yeah. No, no, definitely. That's how I look at that. Like, That's why I was telling you, like, to just relax and just block their ass like the sense of blocking a motherfucking feels so good it's like no no after you've been blocked what else unless you're a psycho now i do i do know somebody that is a psycho i have blocked this account remember no 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 they don't even make multiple accounts they will follow me from every account and still be in my messages like trying to be my friend and this is like this is some high school shit you did tell me remember i told and i told you i don't know how Realer it can get. Like, I don't like you. Like, I'm glad that you grew up to be probably a great person, but yeah. I am not interested in you being your friend in any form or fashion. I don't care. Yeah. Like, I don't want to be your friend. And then, like, the person will still, like, hit me up. And it makes me so mad. I'll be like, what? Because I feel like I get, um, my anxiety get bad. I feel yeah. like, what does she want? Like, what is somebody, What what is your goal? If someone tells you that they just don't want anything to do with you and you're still persistent, what is up What is up your sleeves? Like, what should I be concerned about? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I feel like people like that is just the worst case of weird. And I'm not being I, mean. I, 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 she, she knows why I don't care to be her friend. It's not a secret. I'm not being like, you yeah. know, you can't sit with me type of person. It's just, <laughs> bitch, I just don't want to be her friend. Yeah. You know? It'd it be like that sometimes. We yeah, have nothing I, in common. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of like that, too. Yeah, so. like, god damn. Yeah, it, it's, 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 it's been a very interesting, let's see, Tuesday... Block them. Thursday, so 48 hours, you know, but, I mean... It's, it's cool. You know what? They're not going to be mad at you forever. Shit. Damn. Hey, you know how I am. So imagine where I get it from on top of my Zodiac. Now, my mm. family, we are, we are like grudges, you know? <laughs> now, like I was telling my buddy when I was getting ready this afternoon, now, what could happen, I wouldn't put money on this. Mm. But, I mean, shit, you never know. 2020 has been, been a hell of a year and we still got more to go. They may, once everybody cools down, somebody in the family may re-listen to the episode and look at it objectively and say, hey, you know what? Ish kind of does make some valid points. You know, once you take your anger out of it, once you, you know, you sit and you think things logically, like, okay. And, you know, and, and the whole thing, like, again, you know, about the dude I know in Canada, it's like, okay, damn, that's he makes a good point. How does a guy who he's never met in Canada sees and, and stays on top of his stuff and supports him, but we don't, and we're a six-hour drive away, there's a problem with that. So that's why he's angry, especially since it's been going on for so right. long, you know. And then that person may talk to the family was like, hold on, remember the whole Ishmael thing? You know, and repeat is like, oh, you know what? Maybe we need to, like you said, sit down and talk about this, have a FaceTime or, you know. That's or, all it should have been whatever, is y'all should have just been able to talk. Oh, somebody say, look, I was laughing because somebody had said you got the juice. And I, I think about the movie Juice with Tupac. I ain't seen that one. At with the juice. end of the. Yeah. Wait a hold on. Hold on. Uh-huh. Did on? you just say you didn't see juice? I haven't seen it in a while. On a okay, while. I oh. thought you said you never oh. saw juice. No, I'm like, because I'm like, I had, you, you know, yes, I stopped because I was about to have a moment of silence for your ass. 
Hey, Street Madness, I had a friend, and she was black, and she never saw no black movies, ever. So guess what we did? I sat her ass down one weekend, and I I rented and bought all the black hood movies I could have ever oh, thought of. Man. I'm talking about Menace to Society. I had her watch Jews. I had her watch Boys in the Hood, poetic Dead Presidents. Justice, yeah, yeah uh, Poetic Justice. I had her watch every hood damn Coming movie you America. could think, all of that shit. I'm joking. Well, that's not a hood movie. And, yeah, the, yeah, and she was just you. like, oh my gosh, yes, I was about, man. No, I'm Some, saying I haven't seen it. Somebody else was going to say they was about to say too, because I seen, boy, no, I don't want, I just be keeping it all the way real, and that that has been a gift and a curse throughout my life. I mean, hey, remember Dave Chappelle did that? Did used to do that one uh, skit on his show on Comedy Central when keeping it real goes wrong. Oh, <laughs> you know, yeah, when keeping it real goes wrong. That's the that's me. <laughs> I have been escorted out of so many places from keeping it real. I have. Lo- <laughs> I could go on and on. Even some friendships that probably could have still been friends just because I opened up my mouth and said. Well, you asked me, so you ready? <laughs> well, you asked me, shit. You thought I was going to be, like, lied to you, you know? Yeah. And then we don't work together. And so we have seen each other experience mishappenings from keeping it real. Oh, yeah, that's going to be one of my... He done got was... escorted out. <laughs> and what's so funny is with the day when you got escorted out, he ain't have no damn emotion whatsoever. It was just I like was, this. I felt like okay. the, I felt like the genie from Aladdin. I'm free. I laughed so hard. I almost got my ass in trouble on that phone. With, like, I had to mute what, that I'm customer. Fine? Really? I was like, ish. Thank you. Ish, you're not mad. You was like, I was like, this fool is like, crazy. Like, not the first time I got fired from the job, and it certainly wasn't the last. So from, it, from, from keeping it I all got, the way I real. Money, so you know, I got money saved up and shit. I still got two more checks coming. Plus, you know, whatever vacation time I didn't use, you got to pay me for that. Shit, I'm good. <laughs> Sit on my ass for a little bit and then start the job searches. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No, that, yeah, I um, I definitely have um, experienced the short end of the summer. <laughs> they I laughing, do, but I'm so do, serious, uh, y'all. Um, I have gotten so much better now, though. I feel like within, my family might say I'm lying, but I really, do you think I be chilling? Like, I don't just be letting it out. Like, don't you think I chill sometimes? Yeah. I don't lash out as much as I have done. I think I've gotten a lot better. And um, oh, but if the situation causes for it, (laughs) I don't back down. Yeah. Um. (laughs) But now the family, I say you, you, y'all will talk it out when time permit, but forget all that. Block the ones you already did. You already blocked that. And I had to do this follow-up because, like I said, <clears throat> they can share the yeah. negative stuff. But <laughs> all the good stuff, we done had Miss um, Hadley on here. And oh, yeah. that was, a, I, I that was cool. And, and that's a thing, too, because, like... Somebody knew her, too. Who, Somebody who? on my Facebook was like, I know Asha Hadley. Hadley? Oh, so they was yeah, like, yeah. I know her on the post. And I was yeah. like, yeah, you know, that was a really good episode. It's been it, so, so you know, many. last thing I want to say, you, you just reminded me of something, right? Because... A lot of my family, they've been on this whole workout kick. You know what mm. I mean? So, like, a lot of them have been, like, bike riding together in the trails and, you know, eating right. Oh, that's You know, good. they form, like, a support group. Real, you know, real good stuff. You know, I'm proud of them. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. So, again, you would think if I'm constantly on Facebook, I'm like, hey, I got this world-class female bodybuilder on, you know. You think, oh, shit, maybe I can learn something from her. Maybe she gives some workout tips and talk about how long she's been working out. You know what I mean? Like, you think right. that. You know, they would check that out. And I know my interviews are long there an hour, but I mean, you know, you can skim through it. You don't have to listen to it all at one time. You can, you know, listen to it here, pick it up there, you know, whatever, you know. Um, or even come and ask me, like, hey, Ishmael, you know, I see that you had a, a bodybuilder on your podcast. Is there a particular part where she gives, like, workout advice or nutrition stuff? And I'm like, okay, well, go to the 37-minute mark or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, right. I, I don't mind giving, a, you know, giving like that. I understand people got a lot to do in their lives and may not have a a full hour to sit and listen to a a show or whatever at one time, you know, but, um, and hell, even, um, um, uh, Amber, you know, like, you know, that was, that was a really good one too, you know, fitness and stuff. And if my family's doing this whole fitness kick Mm -hmm. and living healthier and eating right and all that stuff, and I'm having fitness people on, they go, Oh, okay. Let me check with this. Maybe I can learn something or whatever, you know, but, no, but it's cool. Like, it was cool. Yeah, you know what? Like, it was just one of them things where it's just like, you know, where's that little um, 
What's the little genie thing that yeah. comes out like tell you to meditate in peace? Yeah, I'm. I'm. It's cool, just you. Man. You let it I, I out. Feel good. Yeah, and I, let it out. I can't wait to do more good. rants. You know, I want to do a rants on relationships, uh, on fucked up relationships I've had. I want to do rants on fucked up jobs I've had. You know, I want to do. Ooh, we can talk about on, that. Yeah. We can talk about that. We yeah, can de- definitely yeah. talk about that. But I, like I said, oh, we got people listening in. Thank you guys so much. They listening to the website because, like I said, this is a new website I had. I do listen to feedback, okay? I'm okay with criticism, but just don't go a little bit too hard. Like, last week, somebody was tripping on my eyelashes, okay? I have you know that I own my own hair company and my own lash line. And the lashes that I wore last week were huge. I get it. But guess what? Those happen to be my most top-selling lashes. Like, even when I stop selling lashes, people get mad. Somebody laugh. Corey, don't laugh at me like that, bro. Don't, don't. Come on, man. But look, no, for real. I had, And it was a man. The dude was really pissed off about my, about my lashes. So, I would have worn them this week, but I was like, just kind of chill. I just wanted to chill. But I model different lashes that I own. And every time I stop wearing my, these particular big-ass lashes that I wore last week, I always get somebody that say, hey... You need to bring those lashes back. And I had the girls buy like six. Remember I told you the six yeah. pair? And Jermaine mom bought like three. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. it's the same the same big ass yeah. lash. And I'll be like, okay, whatever. So but, I modeled I mean, them. That, you know, like that guy may have been from a part of the country where women don't do that. Yes. It was, you know. Somebody said eyelashes really, yes. And I had, uh, to me, I feel like last week I had a really decent show. I talked about some good stuff. I always try to throw in some things that make you think and then laugh with y'all but yeah and he was really in, had on too last and my oh, outfit damn. was dope shit. and i did a skit that's Ooh, when we did yeah, the skit, skit right yeah, with book, so yeah. that was really fun and like yeah he didn't appreciate the lashes so i was just <laughs> like all right bro i'm sorry you upset but did you check out the message though it was a really good message you know what i'm saying could you get past the eyelashes and listen to the message but uh it is what it is you know what i'm saying so yeah so look check this out i have Got yeah i did y'all in. I have Slummy Charms coming in the building to talk to me to follow up with her. I'm going to play some music, and it's going to be a really dope show. She's going to go live on her Instagram. I'm going to be chilling because I want you guys to listen from the website. So listen to uh, listen at the website, MissBlueRadio.com, to my interview with Slummy Charms. Also follow her on Instagram. Yes, Miss Vincent. Yeah, I went tripping. I did think it was funny, though, because brother, he, he sounded like he was really upset. Uh, <laughs> somebody said he clearly had nothing else to do. I don't know, y'all. I, I've been told several things, but that was the first. That was the first. I ain't never had nobody get mad about some lashes. Dude, Tried dude. to give me a pep talk. Like, you don't need all that. and You dude. better than that. I'm a fool. It's just like... <laughs> that was funny. But, I, yeah, it is. It is what it is. Um... Yes, this interview. Ooh, t- Slummy say she going to spill some uh, some hot tea also, y'all. Oh, shit, I'm going to be like this Ooh, in the background. Be like, hello. I should have brought me a little old, uh, mug. I, you know what? I'm working on me some uh, mugs to, drip, to to sip tea out of. Yo ass so messy. He talking about, he's, y'all can't oh, see hey, him, but he's I'm sipping his drink with his finger up. Because she said she's going to spill the beans. Okay. So it's going to be really interesting. So, she should be here, like, any minute now. You know what? We should have got some pictures taken. I should have got some pictures. You while still we can. Was, we got, you think we got time? Um, Yeah, let me upload this to my cloud. Okay, cool. I'm going to lock this in the archives. Uh, I, you know, I was telling my friend Courtney, I was like, you know, be real fucked up if I run a Facebook ad for my podcast and target it for Louisiana that way every time them fuckers get on Facebook they're gonna see sponsored ad Barry Media Restricted you know what I'm gonna tell you now you better stop messing with them Louisiana people cause they will drive down here to fight your ass they don't know why I stay my family is from Louisiana and when they it's some beef they come out here they ain't gonna talk to your ass over no internet They'll pop up. I'm at so uh, auntie house. Not to oh, me. Oh, you know what? Because I, I don't say, be like in messy stuff. The, but in the episode, if you want to find me, meet me at oh, Scott and Holman at TDEC. Yeah, they'll, they'll find find your ass. Like, oh, U of H football is fat? Yeah, they we crazy. You know he going to be at that weekend. My, my, yeah, I'm going to be family. walking with Sam and Dustin and my buddies like, fuck Wanda? Fuck 
Uncle Rob? Oh shit! You better stop messing with the people. You <laughs> said you blocked them, so that's all. You need yeah, just stop. True, so yeah. stop picking. Look, somebody said they will pull up. I trust me when I say I know, cause I got my Louisiana folks, and then on um, my sperm donor side, I got my family, and they crazy. Yes, I said sperm donor, y'all. So. Oh, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so, and they fr- they black Frenchmen, so they super crazy. But you from, your people is French, too. Uh, 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 we are slide- predominantly, oh. we're, we're predominantly, I mean. I'm going to tell you something uh-huh. before we go off. Yeah. I hope y'all saw Project Power with Jamie Foxx. Oh, my goodness, that movie was off the chain. And they filmed in Slidell, your part of Louisiana. Which one? Slidell. I uh, know what uh, Project about. Power. Hey, Slummy. So, you guys, I got Slummy Charms in the building, so I'm getting ready to get off my live. So, make sure y'all check us out at MissBlueRadio.com. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. Bless and soul.